You know how little Johnny can't read? Well, it turns out that not only can he not read, he's a woke, illiterate, anti-Semitic, racist, communist, Nazi. Welcome to the Free Thought Frontier, and I'm your host, Bill Stone. About 10 years ago, I stopped teaching at the college level. I'd done that for several years, and during that time, one thing became crystal clear to me. K-12 schools aren't educating, they're indoctrinating. My high school grads could neither read nor write nor perform the most basic math, and I challenge you to teach binary mathematics and logic to people who can do no more math than they have fingers. Now, I've got an entire just playlist on this, the failure of K-12 schools, called America's Broken Schools, and there's a link to that in my description box below. Now, a couple of days ago, I stumbled across an PragerU video by Ami Horowitz. It's not new, I just happened to stumble across it. It's called, Would College Students Donate to support the killing of Jews. And there's a link to that in my description box. It's short, it's only three minutes long, and I'd show it, but it's copyrighted by PragerU. And I, again, link to it in my description box. Please go watch it. And in it, Horowitz went to San Francisco State University and asked students if they would give money to fund operations and weapons targeted at Jewish synagogues, schools, hospitals, and buses. No, seriously, he actually asks that. He asks if they donate to kill Jews at synagogues, schools, hospitals, and buses, public events right here in the United States. He doesn't ask if they'd support it to kill Israelis in Israel. He asks if they do it to kill Jews here in the United States. And 28 out of 35 people that Horowitz engaged with expressed support for killing Jews in the United States, and 17 of the 35 offered him money to kill Jews in the United States. Now, ever since the Trump administration, the press has been warning about the rise of Nazis, anti-Semitism, and racism in the United States, and I've generally ignored them, as I always ignore the press, because nothing you see in the press is real. Nothing. But it turns out in this particular case, they were right. And they knew they were right because they themselves are woke. Unlike most of us, they live and work with woke, anti-Semitic, racist, communist Nazis every single day. Now, they were trying to blame Trump and his supporters when, in fact, it is they who are the woke, anti-Semitic, racist, communist Nazis. And so are teachers from kindergarten through the PhD level, and they're teaching your children and grandchildren to be woke, anti-Semitic, racist, communist Nazis. Your children and grandchildren have been through 12 years of compulsory education that doesn't educate, it indoctrinates. And the entire system, at least 12 years of it, has been devoted to turning your children into woke, illiterate, anti-Semitic, racist, communist Nazis. And it has clearly worked. Now, to some extent, it's the fault of my generation, Generation X. It's also our parents' and grandparents' fault, because we are the ones who allowed the system to become what it is. And it's been like this ever since my youngest started kindergarten, and my youngest just got her Ph.D. Now, we should have kicked out all the teachers and burned down every school, from grade school through every college campus in the nation. We should have ensured that nothing remained but charred embers. We should have salted the earth afterwards. We should have grabbed every religious leader from every faith and had them curse the very ground. And we should have put up big signs and monuments that read, Here lies our school. We shall never do this again. That's what we should have done, and we didn't. And now our children and grandchildren are woke, illiterate, anti-Semitic, racist, communist, and Nazis. So I guess, since we Gen Xers are starting to retire and we have some time on our hands, here's how we've got to course correct civilization itself. First, get your kid out of college. 
send them to a trade school to become electricians, carpenters, plumbers, and other tradespersons. They'll make 10 times that of the average college grad, and they'll have virtually none of the debt. If your grandkids are in school now, show this video to their parents. Have a talk with them. If your child or grandchild is in K-12, through then take them out. It's time to homeschool them. Since Generation X is now retiring, we have some time on our hands. It's our place to do the homeschooling of our kids or the grandkids. And now our kids, most of them are probably too busy to just making ends meet. And it is unfair to force them to make the massive course correction we should have done for them and the horror that we have unleashed on their children. Now, I know homeschooling young kids is going to be a giant pain in the behind. Uh, I get it. We are starting to get old. I'm in physical therapy for my lower back. And while I've got no grandchildren of my own, I do have several great nephews and a great niece. Oh, God, I know how much energy the little things have. Just babysitting them can be tiring. The thought of teaching them all day is daunting as hell. And I know we were expecting to spend our retirements in peace. Well, we can't. We inadvertently screwed over our children, and now it's time to fix the mess. Well, then think of it this way. Y you know how we became helicopter parents always hovering over our children, telling them how special they were and never letting them out of their sight? Well, this time we can take away their phones, tablets, and computers at 3 p.m. and all weekend, throw them out the back door, give them a bike, and say, go outside and play. Boom, lock the door, just like, you know, the boomers raised us. Because we know what the alternative works out to be. Woke, illiterate, anti-Semitic, racist, communist, Nazis. We have the opportunity to make our grandchildren to be more independent and self-reliant in their childhoods shaped by self-reliance and socially enforced tolerance. We have the opportunity to make Gen Xers out of Gen Z and Gen Alpha. I know it will send us to an early grave, but if we want to get society and individual li liberty back on track, we've got no choice. Talk to your kids. Tell them that you will teach their kids while they're at work. Teach their kids to read and write Make sure that the kids know some words other than George Carlin's Deadly Seven, and then throw them out at 3 p.m. with a bike. Don't get all gushy on them when they get a scraped knee. A neighbor friend of mine used to say to her crying child, will it be okay by the time it gets married? Well, that seems like a good mantra to me. If the kid says something stupid, you know, don't show much sympathy. Just patch them up. Tell them not to do that stupid thing again. If the kid has a bully, tell them that bullies are cowards and the best thing to do is to kick the bully's ass. Show your kid how to swing a few punches. Show the girls how to kick the boys in the nuts. And show them how to take no mercy with the bullies. And if a cop shows up at your door, cover for the kid. Gen Z and Gen Alpha need to become Gen Xers, and we Gen Xers are the only ones who can make that happen. So let's do it. Talk to your kid. Tell them that they'll take their kids out of school and that you will teach them. Tell them they'll teach them everything they need to know to get a well-paying trade or maybe attend a non-woke college or for an engineering, medical, or uh, you know, law degree, something like that. And don't tell me that you can't teach. We know every single Gen Xer knows enough to teach. We spend a lifetime acquiring the skills, knowledge, and wisdom that we can teach. Get your grandkids in your hands. Teach them what they need to know to be the same self-reliant, tolerant little smartasses that we are. If they don't wind up with the who gives a damn what philosophy, then all of civilization is doomed to become woke, anti-Semitic, racist, communist Nazis. And that's all I have to say about that. I would love to keep the conversation going, so please like this video, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, and leave plenty of comments. I don't engage on social media for reasons I've explained previously. I do monitor YouTube video comments closely and will engage you here. 
Share me on social media. That is, if you use social media, and you shouldn't be for reasons I've discussed in my video, Elon Musk is an evil hypocritical drug dealer. Link to that in my description box below. So thanks for watching The Free Thought Frontier, and I'm your host, Bill Stone. Ultimate power in this world has always been one simple thing, the control and manipulation of minds.